Hello everyone, this is Dahacker13 and today I have What's on my iPhone Favorite Apps Edition version 2. So if you guys have never seen any of my What's on my iPhone videos, then I'm going to explain kind of what they're about. A while back I made a video called What's on my iPhone Jailbreak Edition version 1. And in that video I showed five jailbreak tweaks that at the time I found very useful and were using them a lot. Now they weren't necessarily the best tweaks but I just wanted to kind of show you guys the tweaks that I kept on my device and the one I deleted after I made a video about them. And after that I made a what's on my iPhone favorite apps edition where basically I showed you all five app store applications that I really enjoyed at the time and I actually liked a lot. Not necessarily the best five applications, but just apps that I used very frequently at the time. And then I ended up making a What's On My iPhone Jailbreak Edition version two, and lots of people liked that one, where I basically did the same thing as version one. And so today, I have the version two of the What's On My iPhone Favorite Apps Edition. So basically in this video, I'm gonna be doing the same thing as I did in version one, but with five different applications, obviously. And I'm gonna be showing you all those apps, demonstrating what they do, and telling you all why I like them and think why you should get them on your iPhone, iPod Touch, or iPad. Anyways guys, let's get right on into this. Okay, so now I'm going to be showing you all the five applications for this video. As you all can see, I have organized them into one folder called Fave Apps. So the first app I'm going to be showing you is a game called Shapeshift. Now this is a free application and I generally don't like games where it takes a while to learn everything, learn the tweaks, learn how to, you know, really master the game. And this game is really the opposite of that. You can literally pick it up and start playing it within minutes. It, there's nothing really to learn, especially in the classic mode. And it's also, it's free. So here's Shapeshift, so I'm just gonna do classic, and it's a very, very simple game. Very fun, very addictive. So basically, here's round one. So you have squares, triangles, and circles, and then there's red, orange, blue, and green. So you wanna organize the red, blue, orange, and green into groups of four. So the way you do that is you exchange blocks. So you only can exchange squares for squares. So I just exchanged the yellow square for the red square, and I've already set off a chain reaction here, as you all can see. And so basically I exchange a shape for a shape to make it so the colors are in groups of four, so, or more. So I'm just gonna click this yellow triangle and move it to the red triangle, and as you can see, I got the yellows in a group of four just right there. And so it gets me points when that happens. And so when you try to exchange a triangle with a square, it doesn't work, or a circle with a triangle, it doesn't work. But I exchange those two circles, and then the blues are in a group of four, and I get points for it. And this game is not always easy. I've actually played it for a good half an hour, probably, when I'm waiting in line somewhere, I can't remember where it was, and it actually, this game gets pretty difficult because you have a certain amount of limited turns that you can use after a while, and as you can see, I just got a really good chain reaction there. Um, I think it was six blue blocks, so then it eventually levels you up, and each level gets more and more difficult, and as you all can see, I'm just gonna do the same thing here, exchange the blue circle. Let's see. I'm going to change the yellow triangle for the blue triangle, and there we go. Got five yellow squares in a row, and then I set off a chain reaction. And so the little green bar shows your progress on that level, and that's pretty much this app. So the next app is called LOL Bucket, and this is free, and actually my sister showed this to me. And at first I thought it would be a really stupid application, but after using it for quite a while, I really enjoy this. Basically, it's a very simple app, and it just shows you funny pictures. And they're organized very nicely. As you all can see, you have, it's kind of organized in a grid layout with the different categories. And so you got user submitted. And so you can just scroll through them. And as you can see, it's loading right here. 
So they got some pretty funny pictures in this app. And you also can save the pictures to your device if you ever want to show anyone else when you don't have any internet around. And sometimes it does take pictures for a while to load like that, but eventually they will. It just depends on how big the picture file is in the app. So I'm just going to go back and I'm going to look through the different categories. So you can scroll right and left, and as you all can see, there's nine categories on each page. So I'm going to go to the LOL cats, or funny cats, and it's got funny cat pictures. And these are really, really nice. And plus, a great part of the app is you can actually submit your own pictures if you want to, which is really cool. And then you can save the picture just like that. As you can see, image saved. So this doesn't have the greatest user interface, but it's decently friendly. And it has lots of funny pictures organized into different categories. And I think that's a great application right there, and especially since it's free. It may not be incredibly useful, but it's something if you're bored. And these comics are personally my favorite because they're decently funny and you can just read them each one and they're actually pretty nice and it's a great way just to you know pass your time have a good laugh show your friends or whatever and as you can see these <laughs> these comics actually get pretty long and they're pretty funny so the next app I'm gonna be showing you is called ski ball and currently is 99 cents in the App Store and it's basically a very very good ski ball game I've had it for quite some time now and I play it actually a lot and it's a really really fun app uh, or a really fun game to play and it's made by Freeverse and so basically you just can press play from the main menu and you wanna scroll, the, you wanna roll the ball by flicking your finger and it's basically just like a ski ball game and at random times one of the circles will glow yellow as you can see the hundred did in the upper left hand corner and if you get in there you get a huge bonus um, right now I'm not doing my best in the video but I typically can get some pretty good scores in this and the more points you get the more tickets you end up getting and the really cool thing about this application is when you get tickets you can actually redeem them for prizes yes so maybe seem may seem a little pointless but kind of cool the developers to add this into a game like that and it's actually really fun for me to play in my spare time so I just bought a panda there with my tickets it gives you your amount of tickets so I'm gonna go back and you can also view all of your prizes by going to loot and yeah as you can see it shows custom items and it shows rare items and it shows common prizes and so I got the panda on my common prizes and it just shows everything I want so pretty cool application for only 99 cents and a very addictive game to play so the next game is called balloons TD4 and you can currently get it for three dollars now before you just say oh I'm not gonna get it just cuz it's three bucks you guys really need to seriously check out this application it's such a fun game in my opinion and if you guys never played balloons TD4 online then you need to check this out on your phone because it's such a fun game it's a little hard of a concept to understand at first but eventually when you get it it's so fun so you can choose from all these different maps here. I'm going to go with the basic one just to show you. And you can select a game mode. And I don't have Apocalypse or Deflation and unlocked, so I'm just going to choose regular. And I'm going to choose easy. And so basically, it works like this. You guys see that road going across the screen. So balloons come from that top road, and they roll across um, the whole road, and they get to the end of the road all the way on the left right there. And so basically, you want to stop those balloons from going there. So you start off with 200 health, and for every balloon that goes across there, you lose one health. And so as you can see, I have $650, and you actually buy things to pop the balloons. So I'm going to buy two monkeys, and they actually shoot darts at the balloons. And for every balloon that you destroy, um, as you can see, I'm getting more money. And you can use this money to buy more items to help you pop the balloons, or you can even upgrade your own items. So I can actually upgrade my monkeys. And so I'm just going to add another monkey over here. And I'm going to put some tacks. Yes, you can actually put some tacks. And they only last one round. Or yeah, actually, yeah, they only do last one round. And for each round, you make it past without losing all your lives. Um, it gets very hard eventually. Um, I've gotten decently far in this game. There's a lot of tools that are very, very powerful, especially when there's tons of balloons just flown through at full speed. And you guys may think this game looks stupid, but it's actually really fun. And as you can see, you can upgrade um, whatever you have. So I'm upgrading my monkey, and it's really, really fun. And there's lots of unlocks in the game, which is really great. And you can tell the developers put a lot of work and effort into the looks of this game and the way it works. 
So I'm just gonna save and quit. And that's basically Bloons TD4. Personally, right now, my favorite game on my iPhone. Alright, so the very last application I'm going to be showing you all is Wallpapers HD. And in the App Store it's called Retina Wallpapers HD and it is free. And it's best, in my opinion, it's the best wallpapers application in the App Store. Um, because they're all Retina wallpapers, they're all enabled for Retina. And they simply look amazing. Um, they have so many different categories, as you can see right here. They got beach, they got, they literally have tons of categories, even for those Justin Bieber fans or One Direction fans out there, um, they have categories for that too, which is, you know, really good, because you can tell um, the developers of this app are really putting a lot of effort into including the latest categories available. So you can simply select um, a wallpaper, as you can see I've done right there, which was in the beach section, and it will load. And for some reason, some wallpapers load a little bit longer than others, probably just because of the quality. But as you guys can see, that looks like a really nice wallpaper and very good quality. And then um, the way it's very simple to save, you just press that button in the lower right hand corner and it says picture saving to camera roll. And then after a few seconds, it will say picture saved camera roll. And then from there, you can use it as your wallpaper. So you can go back up to filter and look how many categories there are. There are a ton of different wallpapers you can get within this app. And they even got all the colors down here. So I'm gonna go to red and you can find in a wallpaper that perfectly suits your device and what you want. And as you guys can see, there's a Jordan one right there. There's just so many different wallpapers to choose from. And I think by far, this is the best app in the App Store if you're looking for some great lock screen or home screen backgrounds. So thanks for watching this video, guys. This has been What's On My iPhone, Favorite Apps Edition version two. If you all enjoyed it, please don't forget to click that like button, leave a comment down below. And if you haven't already, don't forget to subscribe. Anyways guys, once again, thanks for watching this video, and I will see you all in my next one.